What's up guys, I'm Zach HD, and I'm bringing that video showing you guys how to get the Halo mods that I have on my game. As you see, I searched up Google right there, Halo mods, and I came up with the Nexus website first link. This would be the Nexus site right here, the main page for Halo. You can see the new today, the new mods of the week. You can search up a list that will show you, which you'll see in a second. Top mods, uh, you can go to a little bit older mods from there. I will recommend that you make an account on here. You don't have to, I don't think, to download stuff, but I do just in case. And this is the mod that I was in my previous video, Avalanche. And you'll see me circle the description right here. Now with the description, I recommend you know using that. If you've done this before, of course, it gets really easy. But if you've never done it, you might just want to watch the video and kind of see how it's done. And then eventually you'll be able to do this within a minute or two. Uh, you have to do the slow download unless you pay for like a premium, which is fine usually takes you know a couple minutes I skipped to that and I ended up canceling that because I have the mod downloaded but I'm still going to extract it to show you guys what to do after you guys download it now this is Rinwar you're gonna have to download Rinwar some kind of extractor I recommend Rinwar what you're looking at is my downloads of all my mods I've done that I have currently on my computer and you'll see me find Avalanche you can set it in alphabetical order I'm not really sure but you see this Halo D.LOL and then you see the Sidewinder map. So the Sidewinder map here is if you use on Steam, you're going to go to Program Files 86, then you're going to go find Steam Apps, then Common, and then you're going to find your games right here all in your Steam. If you don't use Steam, you're going to have to do it from a different folder, wherever your Halo is at, where you'll have to go. Then you'll pull up Halo, you're going to see me pull up the maps, and I'm going to pull up the campaign maps. Now I recommend when it says to back up, that means save all the maps and then put them in a folder like how you saw on mine that said like Halo OG folder, Halo 3 OG maps. And you see me going through my maps right here, and that's Sidewinder. Now that's the map for Avalanche in this custom games. So you have to back that up and save it, and you see I'm kind of guiding it on. This is a pre-recorded. I go to my Halo maps, and those are all the maps I've backed up in my OG file. I did all the campaign maps and I do some custom maps, but I recommend you organize it a little bit better than me probably. Maybe make a folder for custom maps and campaign, but you need to save those OG maps or you'll have to reinstall them. Reinstall the game actually. Now the D.LOL with some of your comments saying my forge isn't working, my AI is not working. What you saw me do was that is the main like, I guess you could say file for the game when it comes to these mods. Each mod typically is going to have its own d.lll. So what that means is if you have two mods that have a d.lll uh, file like that, and you you know if you replace it, you can only have one at a time. So when you have one at a time, that's the mod you're going to run on. So if you have Forge Campaign and then you have Forge Avalanche, typically whichever one you downloaded recently and you put the files in, it's the one that's going to work. So mine is currently Avalanche. And as you see, I went ahead and I started up the game here. And you might have to pause that through this video while I was talking. But if you follow that extraction point and what I did, how I opened up my Halo folder and my Renoir folder, where my downloads were, all I did was just drag it over. Once you drag it over into the right place, which would be your maps, your Halo 3 maps, then you're good. Same thing with the D.LL was you saw it in the main folder when you first opened up Halo 3. You just replaced that mod by dragging it. And that's called extracting. Now remember, you need to back up your folders. Backing up is basically just saying, save these files, put them in a different folder that's not inside this game. So I have it in my Halo main folder that has everything in it. That's where I back up all my OG stuff. As you can see, I'm not too familiar with the keyboard forge, but I wanted to show you guys that this worked when I did it. You might have to go through the video a couple times, maybe slow it down. But for the most part, once you, if you follow the video exactly how I just did it, and you do it a couple of times, you'll be getting this, guys, no problem. And this was probably my fastest and best way of explaining. I had another video, but it came out to like 15 minutes long. But I figured, why not just shorten it for you guys and let you guys get straight to the point. So, with further ado, I hope this video helped out. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. And be ready for the next Halo mod. I probably won't be doing too many more folder extraction stuff unless people really need me to do it again. But uh, I hope you guys got something from this, and I hope you guys can do the same thing that I do. And I gotta say, it's, it's a dream. I enjoy it. I say it every time. And thank you guys for all the content, views, positive feedback, comments, whatever it is. Thank you guys so much. And I want you guys to have a great day. So without that, peace.